And for many Americans, their biggest stash of savings is in their retirement plan. But when faced with financial hardship, some choose to dip into that account. But is that the best option? ABC's Rena Roy explains what you should consider. There are broadly two types of tax advantage retirement accounts available to American workers. An IRA is available to any working American with earned income. The other type of an account is an employer sponsored account and your employer has to offer it for you to be able to access it. And that's a 401k. Bank rate analyst James Royal says that for both IRA and 401k accounts, when you withdraw money earlier than age 59 and a half, the U.S. government imposes a 10 percent penalty. There are a number of hardships that allow you to take money out of an IRA and avoid the 10 percent bonus penalty. Uh, being flat broke, however, unfortunately, is not one of them. Qualifying hardships differ based on the type of retirement account you have, but you may be able to make a penalty-free withdrawal for medical bills if you're permanently disabled or have a terminal illness, if you're a victim of domestic abuse after a natural disaster, for your first home purchase, for higher education expenses, for debts owed to the IRS, and for payments to the other spouse as part of a divorce. But even if you can avoid the 10% penalty, Royal says you can't avoid the taxes, and he suggests only tapping into your retirement account if it's a last resort. So you take that money out today, and that might be a relatively modest sum of money, but you're losing the compounding over time that it could become. So if you took out $5,000 today, that could easily be forty or fifty thousand dollars from your future self. Royal says there are some other options you can consider, like taking a loan from your 401k account or a bank or credit union, taking advantage of promotional credit card offers, and trying to get help from family and friends. The thing is, when you tap a retirement account early, the money comes out, but it really can't go back in. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.